Gata ne? <laughs> it's here, final. Jesus fucking Christ, I waited so long. <laughs> here, um, well, um, first change. The fuck was that? Oh well. <laughs> well, now I have something to like. Like the audio could be even better because like, you know, I can do that now and it's kind of like there won't be any interference with uh, just like the sun, which was, I, I know it was probably annoying to watch and then for me to edit because I had to like just listen to this bullshit. I mean, I don't need to like wear it, <laughs> kind of like, whatever. <laughs> so it could be even like uh, a proper... Um, Jesus. Oh well. <laughs> the sticker just came off. Hmm. I mean, it kind of said that you need to, to stick it for like, I don't know, one day, but whatever. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> so the other thing, I, I guess I will just hold it like, I don't know. <laughs> um, here, I guess I kinda now can show you the whole setup, but just like with moving like that. Uh, here. On the ceiling, there's still nothing. It's just because there is no Oculus Link for now. Um, but I installed like a substitute, I guess, for now that the Oculus kind of, um, I guess, recommended. We will go into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting. I'll show you the whole PC. So basically, ugh, I have like cables on the bottom, just from Wi-Fi and uh, not Wi-Fi, the fuck, the, uh, the Ethernet cables. Cables are everywhere, but I kind of like did uh, the same that I kind of said. Jesus, I'm showing with microphone, even though I'm not speaking to microphone. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> they go from the sides on the, uh, I guess, sides, yeah, sides of the wardrobe um, to just like, oh, here, that's a good shot. It's kind of like they are not even, uh, you know, you you saw that I have blind, but it's not uh, blocking the blinds, kinda, kinda. <laughs> it works. It's just that everything works for some reason. The PC is just monstrous. You will see because we will kind of like build build it again, and I'll explain it to you, like uh, why I picked parts for. What reason, kinda, I guess? I guess let's just switch and, and let's talk about the fucking computer because that's the most important thing. <laughs> and uh, it was something. <laughs> okay, I think it works. Okay, whatever. I guess I will just like uh, kinda <sighs> just hold this microphone for now. <laughs> so basically, I, uh, I built a PC on the site called PC Specialist. It's not like they're not paying me or whatever to say anything uh, positive or whatever, like uh, uh, pretty much I googled uh, in Google a few months ago to do like uh, custom building uh, sites and that's it. And that's kind of like uh, what uh, came uh, came up on the uh, thing. I'm checking the recording stuff like that. I'm s still self-conscious about what's happening because I'm not really like, like the last proper PC I kind of like touched or like did whatever was like two years ago. So still things are like uh, new to me, uh, but I'm trying, okay. <laughs> uh, let's, okay, let's start from the beginning. So I went with the, I guess consumer based uh, PC. I don't even remember how much I spent because uh, I, I had like, I guess, eight changes in the order because I was like uh, changing my mind constantly. So it's good on them that I uh, they were really uh, nice and then um, changed everything that I wanted. <laughs> but I was like a really bad client. <laughs> but I was like, I wanted a few things and then I didn't want and then I changed and then I listened to someone on the forum and like some fucking chaos. Basically, what the case I picked uh, was this one, is the Fractal Meshify. Uh, I, the most important thing I wanted from that is, um, or maybe even I will see what I chose because sometimes I did not even know, know what I chose for the setup. <laughs> I guess maybe some things I didn't need, but I wanted to go, go in uh, with the setup. So <laughs> we'll see. 
basically this case was the most um i guess airproof or like air, the most airflow that it has because from basically from every side there is uh um, i can i guess mesh of uh, uh, material to pass through the ventilation and like the air so because i want i knew that uh, i will play vr games and stuff like that just basically heavy on the hardware i needed something i'm not really experienced in pc building so i don't know how the cooling and stuff like that works but i wanted something that uh, will have a proper airflow for everything so that's one the processor i i went first with uh, 9900k but then i was like hmm Maybe I should just go all out and just build a fucking monster. <laughs> uh, so I went with K KS and it immediately jumped in price for her. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I had no reason to change that, but I was feeling uh, special. Uh, but yeah, basically I got the last process. I think it even released uh, this month in October, I guess at the start. I'm not really sure, but I think yeah. The motherboard I went with, I went with Asus Maximus simply because uh, we, we still don't really know the, like, the kind of premise of the Oculus Link. But what was really interesting to see is that there is a USB 3.1 Type-C and this is the only mother motherboard that had uh, this uh, port and it can like pick my interest uh, and I thought because we know that uh, the, like, the current uh, uh, cable that we can use is from Type-C to USB 3.0 or 1 whatever um, but then I think Oculus Link would be Type C, but no one knows really. I think kinda what type of USB it will be. So I picked like the most, like the fastest one, the most recent Type C. That's the first uh, thing I uh, noticed, like a little bit unique about this uh, motherboard. But I chose that. I went with 32 gigabyte RAM, two times 16. Yeah. Uh, someone told me it's better to pick the, a bigger one, uh, like uh, 16 than eight. And so I went with that, but I didn't really care that much. Graphic cards. Uh, here it will be interesting to see. So eight gigabyte of uh, 2070. Super. I went first, but I was thinking that I will be, you know, this is kind of like my future. I guess future of entertainment or like future or like whatever <laughs> uh, so I should really go in with the specs and just like pick best things that I can pick like that's my philosophy I didn't really watch the price I didn't really wanted to see how much I pay or whatever I just wanted to have something that will last me few years into the thing that I do right both YouTube and VR is kind of like uh, heavy on the hardware if we're talking about rendering and then graphic uh, uh, rendering uh, so firstly I went with 2070 super then I but then I actually picked the TI and but I'm scared to see how much this price will jump <laughs> uh, but here you go <gasps> Okay, I mean that's not that bad. I think I mean that's that's over one thousand of euro <laughs> of a graphic card. I thought it will like be one thousand five hundred. So okay, well maybe that's not that bad. <laughs> Apparently I'm rich. Uh, uh, like considering, I'm not really surprised. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, if we're talking about storage drive, uh, I did not pick any HDD. I did not pick any SDD. I picked actually the MS two. M M2 SSD drives. The reason is uh, that I I wasn't really familiar with the drives because I picked out firstly the Samsung SDDs or whatever these ones, uh, but then someone told me that it's way better to pick the SSDs and they they are kind of like fairly priced now for the quality and what you're getting. Uh, so I went with uh, Samsung obviously. I'm just overpaying, but I just went in. <laughs> I was not really thinking much. So I went with uh, the first drive. This is kind of like the system um, kind of software drive. Uh, where is the 
you know operating system and then I picked out one uh, terabyte I guess for the VR stuff or whatever um, this one's uh, too it might be a little bit small amount of uh, space but I'm not really as expecting to um, like save many games at my computer right on the oculus quest I can because they don't really wait that much uh, but then again I I expect myself to play PC VR stuff, right? Uh, but I don't expect to play many at the same time. So for me, I think one terabyte will suffice uh, pretty well. Um, I even picked uh, just in case uh, a hard drive uh, external, just just you know, just in case because uh, just wanted to have some backup for uh, I guess for files or whatever. So I guess it's not really needed, but uh, I, I guess the original build was 3000 kind of something like that. I guess I went uh, with uh, this setup. The rest, I guess I went with a few things that people uh, recommended me like power supply, uh, like this one, uh, cooling. I went with uh, Corsair. No, I went with uh, platinum because for some reason platinum uh, had a different I guess cooling system than the pro ones. I guess someone told me. I don't know. I kind of like picked some things from the forum that I've covered. Extra case fans. No, I went with an additional uh, like uh, card. Even though I have on the motherboard pretty uh, good one, I went with additional one just because I did not read properly <laughs> on what quality the, my motherboard provides the wireless something and Bluetooth. But I wanted to see, and I will test it out obviously, I wanted to see how, um, recording, obviously it's recording. <laughs> uh, I want to test out the wireless the streaming to Quest. Uh, because obviously you need five gigahertz of uh, like, you know, the type of the uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, but I wanted to have something that is for sure gonna be sufficient for proper streaming without latency. Maybe it won't work, but I'll just, just in case I went with that. Uh, I, I went with additional Type-C uh, port, just no reason, again. <laughs> I went with uh, uh, many things with no reason. I have this monitor, uh, monitor cables, keyboard. I just went with something uh, basic like that. Yeah, Logitech, whatever. Uh, I The rest, I guess didn't not really matter but like initial build uh, I kind of like zipped up everything in 3000 which I guess is fine I expect it to be like less than 4000 because <laughs> I didn't know how how much paid whatever it's like I'm so caught up in like chaos right now I didn't even like shower in like two weeks like uh, it's I, I'm not I, I don't know where I am at the moment, <laughs> but pretty much uh, that's uh, the whole setup that I have. I just went in uh, without not ma man, uh, much knowledge. Maybe I could even make uh, pay less, but at the same time, I just wanted to have something just solid. Just solid for at least, I guess, few years. We'll see. I don't even know. It's too chaotic for me. I am too chaotic for me. I'm not even... <laughs> I don't know where I'm, I am anymore. Uh, that's the setup that I have with the monitor stuff like that recording so I tested I okay so in terms of recording obviously OBS for the I guess desktop thingy audacity for the audio my microphone is uh, I guess mod mic yeah antline uh, mod mic uh, without cable this one whatever it's in French but you will see uh, without uh, wire it's wireless uh, microphone uh, basically, a few things I, ca I even uh, saw because I watch a YouTuber called uh, Danks08. He, he kind of does the playthroughs on the YouTube or whatever. Here, Danks08, uh, he did a few videos about uh, what he's doing, like what setup he's doing, stuff like that. And I kind of like, uh, kind of like listen to uh, him because uh, I, I watch him and he is kind of like my small inspiration about I guess creating a playthrough uh, channel also. He does like mostly uh, console and PC style uh, PC things 
I did VR, which is a little bit different, uh, so yeah. He's mostly known for the Final Fantasy stuff, whatever. Uh, but yeah, the microphone uh, that I uh, went with, uh, he's using the wired uh, version. I just went with wireless because uh, obviously wireless is way better because uh, this thingy has like a magnetic, very strong like magnetic, uh, obviously it isn't connected, kind of whatever. Uh, magnetic uh, thingy to stick to and uh, it will have also on the quest so I will have I, I have everything <laughs> like I kind of I just went crazy I just I just went on a crazy shopping spree in this month because uh, the PC actually came I guess the day after no yeah the day after the Oculus Link went in beta, beta. so it was like a crazy coincidence, kind of like, and it's uh, like so much. It's like 4:30. It's I still have to do so many things. Like even today, apparently the last episode of the Vader Immortal last episode will be releasing. Like tomorrow, uh, apparently Aspire One is releasing. Like there's so much shit to do to do. And I'm just caught up in everything here. I I, I just hope like I will like re resolve everything. I mean I I will. I'm being dramatic, but it's just that uh, I uh, because I went in with the setup stuff like that. I wanna push myself and I wanna like challenge. This is pretty much a challenge currently for me. <laughs> uh, I just will be uh, doing some experiments. I guess I will be just doing. Uh, few i guess new things you know we'll, we'll just see how it will resolve uh but i i'm in a good position i guess currently finally jesus like i'm still getting flashbacks to how i edited everything on my phone and now i i i have like premiere pro i have like everything i have there, there's basically no excuse other than having no time because obviously I'm like working 70 hours weekly um, There's no excuse creatively for me to um, not provide something interesting <laughs> I mean, it's not like uh, nothing was is interesting so far on my channel But I was limited by hardware, but I now I'm not so now I the real deal is happening. <laughs> I think uh, this video, because I will work on it or obviously, this video will uh, go after uh, the Vader Immortal episode. I kind of like need to set up a few rules for myself and for the content that I am like choosing because now I have a link and quest. I am primarily, you know, a quest channel. So I need to sort things out about how when i will be doing quest uh, games when i will be actually in the link uh, so here's my thought process okay basically the the games that are releasing uh, on the quest are sometimes uh, the versions from rift converted to quest right there are some games and the, we can split it into so we have quest games that were re-released from rift but are way better for a devilless uh, headset. So these games will be I will be playing normally on Quest because uh, uh, you ex your experience is way different without cable on the Quest, uh, and it's way beyond like it's better th than the Rift version. Now, if there is a release on Quest that was on Rift, but it's just that the excuse of for the releasing this game was just to put it on quest to for to like I guess for more sales or whatever, and it's not an experience that you move around a lot or like you are really mobile because you know now I'm limited by the cable but so is everyone. When the actual um, Oculus Link official from the Oculus will be released, then it's a different talk because I can play everything on the link, right? I guess kind of, <laughs> uh, because there's, I mean, it will be still a quest game, but then it's, it's just gonna be a better graphics, I guess it makes sense. But then if the game is released on the quest uh, from Rift, uh, but uh, 
you don't really experience anything different other than just like low, lower graphics on Quest. I will play I will play that game um, on Quest. So for example, uh, for example, The Wizard uh, is way better on Link to play than on the Quest because you kind of like don't really move around in this uh, game, but when we were talking about, for example, I guess Beat Saber, it's way better to play on Quest rather than Link because you need to move around. You feel me? So, uh, the logic like that. There's a third category of uh, games which are the PC VR games that will for sure never release on Quest. Uh, so if we're talking about Asgard Wrath, Stormland, Skyrim VR, stuff like that, I will be playing separately uh, from the Quest. Uh, I mean, from the official content, right? Uh, so I guess if that makes sense, that's kind of like my philosophy on that. I don't know if like I explained anything. This tour, at least in my eyes, was so shit. <laughs> like uh, I, I just showed a few things. I just explained some things. Like I don't know. It's just that my thinking is so chaotic. I broke that uh, adhesive. Like uh, it's it's never sticking again. Whatever. <laughs> it's just uh, you know exciting because uh, it's kind of like uh, hard to believe that uh, I, I, I I went... I mean, we all know that I'm hardworking and I uh, just like, I'm busy with work, stuff like that. But then again, I I guess I have the drive, I guess, uh, right? Um, to pursue what I want. It's kind of like, if I want to do something, I will do it eventually and I will be 100% in it. Like, uh, there's no question about it. That's just how my personality works. So, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> the video is chaotic. I hope uh, it's... I will wave hello to future me uh, who's editing that because for sure it's way convenient than on the phone. Uh, but I... Yeah, it's kind of like I can't stop smiling, right? I am so happy that it's happening. I'm so happy that I'm here in this position like that. And I just can't wait to play more but if, talk, uh, if we're talking about PC VR the first game okay so we will play Vader Immortal now tomorrow Aspire finish uh, maybe even I will have like two playthroughs at the same time going on because uh, there's so many releases uh, uh, like in the next uh, weeks or even days like it is ramping up ramping up for the christmas and now it's just going all in with everything like the end of the year for quest is just going to be insane and it's just getting started anyways uh first game that i will be for sure playing outside of quest is obviously asgard wrath like there's no question about it like i wanted to play so badly skyrim but i think asgard wrath will be a really good start for my PC VR adventure, aside from Quest, obviously. <laughs> uh, this game is, I think it, this game is just, will be a really, really high point for me. And I don't really know if like anyone will be interested or whatever, but it's really game suited for me. You have uh, difficulty level, because I saw there are three difficulty levels and you damn well know that I will be, be picking the hardest one because the challenge needs to be there. Like, I wanna be in. <laughs> it seems really game that for me. Like, and it's suited perfectly in a, a VR concept, like, for me. I, I, I saw, like, none of the footage. I saw none of the premise. What is it? I mean, I kinda know what it's about. It's like an RPG. I guess fantasy game, right? Other than that, nothing. Like I have no expectations. I am happy to go into this um, game clean without any expectation. Asgard Wrath will be uh, will be coming for sure. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, this. Yeah, <laughs> just bear with, bear with me. I still need to figure out few things with editing F hopefully everything is like recording like i'm just like so self-conscious like audio is there I don't, I don't know maybe the editing will be not uh, that hard because i saw like it's 
it's overwhelming, but it seems like there's so many possibilities to edit. Like, I guess uh, I, I need to grasp and I need to calm down and like whatever, I just chill. <laughs> Bear with me for a few videos or whatever. I'm testing few few things out. We'll see how it wor will work. Maybe even uh, nothing will change. Honestly, like uh, the format that I had from uh, editing my phone was fine. Uh, but maybe like it will be a little bit extra on the uh, side of uh, I guess uh, I don't know whatever I'm rambling it's I am um, have no idea what I'm talking about anymore and let's just focus on games and just like doing it just doing it just going in and I and I can't stop smiling like <sighs> I'm not gonna cry, I'm just like happy. So um, we'll see each other in the next uh, videos and we'll, we'll see what's gonna happen. Like whatever, like <laughs> it's a uh, good time to be around. So yeah, I like that. <laughs>